This video is on how to track changes on the online version of Microsoft Word, the one you can access by going to microsoftonline.com. If you want to track changes on a PC-based version of Word or a Mac version of Word, there's another video for that. That's for the, those versions of Word's Word that are installed on computers. This is the online version. Make sure that you do track changes before you begin making changes. That way you get credit for your changes. On many assignments you won't get any credit at all if you don't track changes on your revisions. So make sure to do that before you get started with your revisions. To track changes on the online version of Microsoft Word, the first thing you'll need to do is to turn on track changes on the school's PC version of Microsoft Word. So before you start making changes outside of the school building, like at home, on the online version of Microsoft Word, you'll first need to go through this in class. If you need a copy of your paper, just as you originally uploaded it, just go to turnitin.com and click the far icon next to the assignment name. When you do, you'll have a choice of three different selections. Do the first one, the originally submitted format. Don't choose PDF or digital receipt. When you click originally submitted format, you may get a dialog asking you if you want to open the file from turnitin.com. If so, click open. Because you're on a PC at school, you'll probably get this dialog asking you if you would like to enable editing. If, if you do get it, click yes so that you have the right to, right to edit. Once you're able to edit, click the review tab on the ribbon and in the resulting review ribbon, click the track changes icon. If you happen to be on a Mac doing this, you would also click review on the ribbon and then click track changes on the resulting ribbon. Be sure then to save your file to your hard drive. Then in your browser's address window, go to microsoftonline.com. When you do, you'll get an interface looking something like this. When you enter the login information that you have in your password paper in your binder, you'll be taken to this screen where you'll enter it again. Once you enter it and click sign in, then you'll get this screen. Click the Upload and Open icon. Choose the place where you downloaded the copy of the file from turnin.com onto your hard drive and click to open it. Once you'll do, once you do, you'll be on a screen like this. Notice in the lower left corner it says track changes on. It should be on if you did in fact select track changes back when you had the PC version of Microsoft Word or the Mac version of Microsoft Word. Make sure that's on. If it's not on then you chose the wrong file. The file that you chose is not the same one that you um, turned on on the PC or Mac version turned on to track changes. Once you see that it's on, then the first thing you'll need to do is highlight everything and restore one change that probably happened. You want to make sure that the line spacing is back to zero instead of at eight or six. That's what MLA calls for for some reason when you uh, upload a file it does 
make it go from 0 to 8, so we want to put it back to 0. Then you can just start typing to your heart's content. And once you finish, you will click the file icon and then click Save As and click Download a Copy. Store it on your computer somewhere. And then when you're in turnitin.com, you're going to upload it. And you'll see, once you've uploaded it, that it will have red and other possibly other colors in the um, quick thumbnail version of it that the Turnitin site generates that shows the track changes. You want to make sure that it looks like something like that with red as well as black font on it. And remember, of course, that once you do confirm, you want to wait around for that green stripe at the top of the screen that says, congratulations, your submission is complete. It's also a good idea, of course, to get an email from them. And if your email address is current, you will check your spam folder if you don't see it. It is confirmation that your file has been uploaded. And if it has been uploaded and your submission is complete, then your teacher will certainly see it. Thanks.